Hey guys, hey, uh, Ray here with you. No, I'm doing a video oh. for YouTube. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, today we're doing a video on how to change a tire at a tire shop. You can do it yourself, but it's easier at the tire shop. Well, just changing a spare you can do by yourself. We'll do that one day. But today we're going to show you uh, how to do it at the tire shop. the tire shop power tools so it's really really fast i'll show you what's going on back there uh, this tire has a lock so you need to put your so you can't steal it unless they have the key to go in here so it's a uh, five lug uh no we have a replacement already uh, it's, it's inside so as you can see the tires are off uh, we're gonna go in the shop because we're using the same rims to change. So uh, this is the tire that's gonna be used. It's a 215 5516. I'm gonna shoot another video for you with uh, an explained tire size. But I'll just do a quick video on this. Uh, 215 is the width of the tire, how broad it is. Uh, 55 is a percentage 55 is the 55 percent of the width is the height so the uh the, so the bigger this number is the broader it is and the uh, higher this number is the higher this is or the smaller is the smaller this is it's the aspect ratio the 16 r is radial tire and the 16 is the as the circumference the radius of the tire, it's a 16 inch tire. All right, so let's get over here and see if, okay. Uh, so this tire machine is used to get the air out. It's pretty loud in here because of the compressor. So first the air is taken off by pressing it with this machine. And now the machine spins. And that part is clipped on. It needs a bit of skill and muscles to do this. And now he's using his foot, he's turning the tire, pops out. I guess you have to do the other side now. Yeah. This is the boss here. This is the tire expert. That's the customer outside. The owner of the shop is my fr is my friend, so he let me shoot this video here. All right, guys. Now he's doing um, uh, something with a. I think that's a steel wool. The steel wool. He's making the uh, edges all around the. Um, the rim of the tire, of the the edge of the rim, smooth, so the new tire could hold on properly and the air wouldn't uh, escape and and rust. So now he's putting on a pace. Is that tar? It's like a liquid rubber pace, so that will seal the tire onto the rim. And so the air won't escape. Doing something with the valve stem, pulls the old valve stem out. Guessing he's gonna put a new one in. Now he's using a tool to pull out the uh, nipple from the valve stem. the pliers to install the new ball stem that way the uh, tire shouldn't be losing air anywhere else uh, we already selected the tire it's a fairly uh, it's a lightly used tire it's in good condition he's putting on the same um, blue 
lubrication on the tire so it slides on easily and it doesn't cut or damage. Again, it's using its foot to control the uh, rotation of the tire. Now he's putting air into the tire. You hear it pop two times. When it pops two times, you know it's sealed all around. This is a pretty scary part. It needs You need to be an expert, sort of, to do this. Because if you put extra air in it, it will pop and explode. So I guess when you're using this gauge over here. And Uh, that's a tricky part that he just did. He took out the ball stem, um, the nipple, the little metal in there, so the air could go in faster. And then he puts it on back when it's almost to the pressure he needs. He's now uh, checking the pressure and putting the exact amount of air that he needs. I think it's either 35 psi. Um, uh, PSI means uh, pung per square inch. Uh, we measure air in PSI or bars. Okay. So when you stop this, we'll see how much it is. 38 PSI. Uh, the tire is almost ready to be installed back onto the car. And this uh, is this video is going non-stop so you will see the whole process i think this uh this tire guy is really fast uh we're less than um oh now there's another part to this I put it on the balancing machine he puts it up on the wheel alignment machine to make sure it's all level it's, balanced. it's pretty balanced if not when you drive at higher speed the car may bounce bunks or sway on the road so he secures the tire onto like a dummy wheel he takes off the old wheel weights close the cover so it don't fall off he set it up already okay so it's all set up gonna add weights to the tire now the machine stops at the spot at a spot where it's probably out of line he's gonna find that spot by rolling it around he add extra weight onto the wheel at that spot now it's going again so you fix two things right up and down and side to side so so you put, it's all at zero, it's balanced, all right? So this machine, it checks if the tire will bounce up and down or will sway side to side. Once it all, once, okay, the last step now, he's putting it in a, in a tub of water to make sure it does not leak. There's no leaks. And we're about eight minutes, almost nine minutes. So I'm guessing this whole process takes 10 minutes. Not bad to change, swap a tire from one rim to the next. Well, from this, swap the change a tire from a rim. Okay, now there's a special uh, way to install these um, lug nuts. He's gonna do it in a triangular pattern when he's um, tightening it. Because if you tight it all in one side, then the wheel become warped towards this side. So he will do one here, one there, one there in a triangular pattern so it it uh, tightens equal Special key lock. This protects. It deters, it deters um, thieves from stealing your rims. All right. So as you can see, 
you can use a regular um, a regular lug nut to open these a regular socket to open these lug nuts but this one needs the attachment um, it's an older model car but the newer vehicle people uh, want to protect their tires and their wheels because you'll you'll uh, this is New York City so sometimes people steal anything around here all right so if you are in New York City and you need to uh, get your tires uh, changed all right if you need to get a tire change or if your tires uh, have nails in it you come to the tire express and um, it's open I think six days a week now Sundays they're closed Monday through Saturday all right so uh, this is um, Rockaway Boulevard and 103 uh, Street and it's right across from uh, John Adams uh, secondary school all right John Adams secondary school is over there all right there's the big uh, tire shop um, sign there all right guys and uh, uh, last thing um, don't forget to like and thumbs up this video well like is thumbs up uh, leave a comment leave your question underneath and um, most of all can you um, just just tell me where you're watching this video from like what city and whether or not it is it was helpful or not all right tell me your city or which country you're watching this video from and don't forget again to subscribe to my channel for more cool videos on everyday jobs and how to do a uh, car stuff truck stuff warehouse stuff all right guys again uh we're shooting live uh right now from rockaway boulevard uh this is tire express and take care bye